I am in weird mood today. Hey, hey. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Denise. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite things from the month of January. So, just like before we get into anything, first, if you haven't already, go ahead and do this right now, this second, subscribe. Wherever it is for you, here, here, subscribe. Click that red button. That means not only are you going to be in the know with everything that I post here on YouTube, but it also means so much to me. I really wanna grow this and produce better content for you guys, and I can only do that if I have a budding community of subscribers. So please, please, please hit that button below right now before we go any further. In January, I had a wide variety of things that I was loving. There's a little bit of beauty, a little bit of TV shows and music, and maybe some fashion, I can't remember. I made a list, so let's just jump right in. So let's start with beauty. Yeah, okay, so the first beauty product is Glossier U. I used to wear this scent, ran out of it, and then just forgot to purchase it again, even though I loved it. So Sean bought it for me for Christmas because he loves the way it smells. It comes in this beautiful glass bottle. I love the little red lid. And for a nice perfume, it's really not expensive. It smells amazing. It has really unique notes that smell different on everybody. It has a little bit of a floral and a little bit of a musk. It's beautiful and I am loving having this back in my life. I can't believe I lived without it. Seriously, it's wonderful. The next beauty product is the Dior Hydrogel Eye Cream. I think that's what it's called. Everything's linked down below. So this product is life changing for me. I have tried eye creams because I fully accept that I'm at the age where I need them and I haven't really found anything that suits my particular needs. So a little bit of background about my skin. I have combination skin. Some days it's oily and some days it's really dry. I never really know what it's going to do. This is a water-based eye cream that instantly, I mean instantly, depuffs and brightens my eyes. And it smells amazing. So even though it has a hefty price tag, this is gonna be something that for as long as they carry this product, it's going to be in my beauty cabinet. It's amazing. I am loving it. This is the Essie Platinum Grade Finish Top Coat. It's a gel top coat. So I used to go get my nails done every two weeks. It was something that I treated myself to and then I started looking at my monthly bank statements and figuring out ways that I could cut down expenses and nails were the first thing to go, unfortunately, because they were so expensive and I was, you know, paying to get them removed and to put them back on when I could easily be doing that at home because I do give myself a great manicure. The problem was is that my manicures at home weren't lasting that long. I was reading Cupcakes and Cashmere's Insta stories one day and she was talking about this and she always has great manicures that she does at home and she was saying this is the key to making her regular nail polish last longer. I'm loving this. I My nails aren't painted right now, but if they were, this would be on top of them. I put on regular nail polish about two weeks ago and I just took it off yesterday. It didn't chip, it didn't budge. My nails didn't grow out so much that it looked weird, and all I did was just apply this once a week just to make sure that the manicure stayed nice and pretty. So, this is something that I'm really glad I discovered because now I can have manicures at home and I don't have to fork out 60 bucks. I can sit in my pajamas and have long lasting manicures. Loving this. So the last beauty product, if you wanna call it that, is a razor subscription. I used to use men's razors and I really liked them for the quality and I just felt like they worked so much better. But I hated going to Target or ordering them on Amazon. I didn't even wanna to have to think about it. So I started looking into the Dollar Shave Club, but that was a little pricier than I wanted and it wasn't, it was sending me more product than I needed. And then I found Billy and Billy is a shaving subscription service that's geared towards women. The packaging's beautiful, and you get to pick the color of your razor, which is super fun. I picked the blush pink, 
And then the best part is you can choose the frequency of when they send you product based on how often you shave. So mine comes once a month based on what I selected and I don't even have to think about it. And if I don't need it, I can just cancel it like with any subscription box. It's fantastic. I love it. It's a great razor. Okay, what's next on the list? I have two TV shows next. The first you guys have probably already seen already, but if you haven't, watch You, starring Penn Bagley, Badgley, you know, the guy from Gossip Girl who played Dan Humphreys. This time he is playing a character that is creepy and he's obsessed with this girl named Beck and I mean they just have a really interesting dynamic and I thought the show was going to play out a lot more predictable than it did but there were definitely some great plot twists that made it even more exciting and it's such a great binge. You can finish it in two days and it was fun. I really enjoyed it. The second show is Sex Education and this stars Jillian Anderson. It chronicles her as a sex therapist and mainly focuses on her adolescent son's life. He's, I think he's 15 or 16 and basically he starts giving sex advice at school but he's a virgin and some really funny stuff happens. The characters are really endearing. There's a lot of really great character development. The fashion's amazing on top of it. It's hilarious. And the best part is it is a comedy, but the episodes are 45 minutes long instead of the usual 25 to 30 for comedies. So definitely check it out if you haven't already and you're looking for a laugh, sex education. The only fashion thing I have in my January favorites are these boots. These are chunky booties that I got from Topshop. I'm obsessed with them. I love the big sturdy heel. I love how high they go. I love the big chunky soles. They're just like a mix of 90s and modern in a booty and I'm, I'm here for it. I'm so here for this. They are so comfy. I'm pretty sure these are like three inch heels and it doesn't feel like that. I can wear these all day and they're amazing. And I've been wearing them with pants. I've been wearing them with dresses and skirts. I'm wearing them so much that I feel like people are wondering if I have other pairs of shoes. I promise, I do. I'm just really obsessed with these boots. And they weren't expensive, they were like 60 bucks. So for something that I'm going to wear all the time, that's perfect. The only thing that I would change though is I wish they were leather. Because they are suede and I have to clean them a lot and I sprayed them with protectant. But you know, it's never enough, especially for a clumsy person like moi. So. These are amazing, I'm obsessed. Um, you'll probably see them in my lookbook video and other vlogs. You're gonna see these a lot until it's warm out. I'm wearing these the rest of winter because I'm obsessed. And then the last two things are really random and I didn't know where to put them. So the last thing is Catan, which I mentioned in my Amazon haul video. If you haven't watched that yet, go give it a watch. So Catan is a risk strategy game that I've wanted for a long time. It's just a really good board game to bring people together that's not necessarily like Cards Against Humanity or something like that. I've really enjoyed playing it with like a good glass of wine and a cheese board. It just makes for a really good night. So definitely check out Catan if you haven't already. Last thing is my Spotify playlist. So every month I make a playlist on Spotify of what I'm listening to the most. The playlist is linked down below, but it's just an eclectic mix of songs. I don't usually put like a whole album on there. This is just like the stuff that I've been listening to. So there's some Lana Del Rey on here, some Gary Clark Jr., Catfish and the Bottlemen came out with new stuff, Maggie Rogers, and then some other bands that I've never heard of. So definitely check this out. It's eclectic, but you can kind of see what I've been listening to and maybe you'll discover something new that you love as well. Thanks so much for watching my January favorites video. If you've gotten this far already and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. I don't want you guys to miss out on any of the great content that I have planned and it would mean so much to have your support. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.